This is Paseo del Mar in Zamboanga. I came here for lunch today with a beautiful person subscriber, John, and thought, well, I'm going to have to come back in the evening. The view is absolutely sensational, but it's not so great at night. But you can see all the way to Basilan and the other islands that aren't very far away. It's right on the sea, uh, and there's probably, I don't know, 25 little restaurants. It's got a very Mediterranean feel and um, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, and I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see, but I'll do my best. This is the, the walkway by the sea. So it looks like a lot of young people come down here to canoodle, and why not? Situated near the old Spanish fortifications of Fort Pillar, Paseo del Mar is a seething hotbed of fun. In the daytime, stunning views of the azure waters and surrounding islands compensate for the searing heat. And at night, restaurants and breezy walks abound. It's a meeting place, an entertainment zone, and a boulevard-style park for everybody to enjoy. It's a Tuesday night, 7 p.m. And there's quite a few people here. And really, why wouldn't you? It's, uh, it's a fantastic place. So I'm going to have a beer and grab something to eat. Don't know where. Yeah, we have chicken barbecue in the sal, chicken pyong gong and fried chicken also. How much is that? It's 145. 145. Yes. Yeah. Restaurants of different styles and cuisines jostle for the attention of would-be customers, while 25 acoustic bands play different songs simultaneously. The atmosphere is festive and the serves are big and the bills are small. So as we walk away from those restaurants, we're walking towards Another couple, I had coffee over here with John earlier today. I would imagine that all of this is reclaimed land. It's not a pier, it's, it's a very large area. So there's a big car park and there's kind of um, a children's park or something in the middle of it and there's a bit of a skateboard park as well. Uh, and then it's ringed by all of these restaurants which are all on the sea. This one, Tony's, is a bit more upmarket. So we'll have a look at a menu. So you heard the price for that, uh, the chicken barbecue, 145 pesos, that's pretty good. Well, unsurprisingly, everybody's sitting out by the sea. I'll just have a quick look at the menu. Make sure we are pretty in the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that's what I mean, right on the sea. And I've ordered garlic shrimps and java rice. So you can see the lights over there, that's where we've come from. And we'll go back there after this uh, to have something, it's a surprise. It's something that's very Zamboangan. I had lunch with, uh, well not lunch, I had sort of um, coffee with uh, a beautiful person subscriber, John, today, who uh, gave me a lot of information about Zamboanga. And I've only booked three nights in the hotel, but I think I might stay for at least a week uh, while I decide what I'm gonna do next as well. But there's so much to do here, and so much to see, and, and so much history to the place, um, that I'd like to hang around for quite a while so I really get a feel for the place. Uh, so lots of interesting, lots of interesting things coming up. My spicy garlic shrimp has arrived. Java rice. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. But not at all what I expected. So we'll see how it tastes. They're unpeeled. 
I suppose you just ate the whole thing. Pretty good. Big serve. Lots of vegetables, which is good. It's got the bill. 580, pretty good. That's what I can't finish. So it was twice as much as I could eat. Well, I've noticed the prices are a lot lower here than um, Dumaguete or Dipolog even. Uh, and the food's pretty good. Service was a bit iffy. <laughs> but the food was pretty good. Uh, and so now we'll go over to the other side and have a Knickerbocker. Uh, I love the name of this restaurant. Sometimes it doesn't read bright lights very well, but it's Mamang's Greasy Spoon. Halal family restaurant. Well, they had a uh, Knickerbocker at uh, Mamang's Greasy Spoon, but their music was a bit loud, so we might have to continue on. And obviously not all of these restaurants are halal, There's, they're a mix. Alright. Now we'll find somewhere. And you're probably thinking, hey Marsh, what's a Knickerbocker? Well, how would I know? I only got here yesterday. I've been fortunate enough to meet some experts and they're going to tell us the difference between a knickerbocker and a halo halo. What's the difference between a knickerbocker and a halo halo? I think um, I think it's the same. They have um, they have ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. A halo halo no is more on ice. More ice. Yeah, that's right. A knickerbocker is more on milk. And fruits. And, ice cream. Are fruits. Yeah. and fruits. And fruits. Yeah. And fruits. And when you get a knickerbocker, do you mix, 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 mix? Yeah. It's up to you. It's um, up to you. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it's like all up it. to you. Can I have a knickerbocker, please? One, one order, sir. Just one. There's only me. See, wasn't that lucky to run into these experts? <laughs> Crushed ice, watermelon, papaya, and strawberry ice cream, and a copyright strike from YouTube. Very fruity and healthy. Maybe not healthy, but close to healthy. Well, that was delicious. Was it, there was the music was a bit loud, so I was worried I'd get a copyright strike, so I couldn't say much about it. But it was there was a lot of fruit in it, and uh, it was like a fruit salad with strawberry ice cream on top and a little bit of crushed ice. Not a lot, a little bit. Uh, and um, very delicious and 95 pesos so it's been a good night I'm as full as a boot and uh, I'm going to text my taxi driver see, see how like connected I am already text my taxi driver and get him to come come and pick me up mm -hmm.